Oh, it's Rach from Spiritual Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading, so there go. Now, this will be for the 13th to the 19th of September 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Just give it a couple more shuffles, because for some reason I've shuffled a day, and I broke my wrists, so my wrists don't work all that great. Okay. Alright, what's going on with you, Virgo? You're trying to avoid some sort of tower moment happening. Um, you're not either doing the work on you, you don't want an upheaval, you don't want an epiphany, you, you're trying to avoid that happening, as I said. But you're also not wanting to manifest anything else. You don't want to rewrite your story, you know. You're kind of trying to avoid it for you happy where you are, maybe. Maybe you're feeling like the person's not the person for you or the situation's not right for you, but you're not changing it. Maybe you're not seeing some destructive habits that someone has or maybe someone's moving past them, um, but they do want to reunite. So maybe you do try to resist it, but it's going to happen regardless because the universe will make it happen. But maybe you do get back together. They're like someone's grown, healed, or evolved, so they're like the graduate, so it can mean a new phase in a relationship or a stage. Last one. But I feel like you're not maybe not talking at the moment, or not talking at all. Maybe there's no communication. Um, Like you, you or someone has a bit of nostalgia maybe or you thought you were going to possibly, um, you've got a new way of looking at things. We'll have to, we'll have to find out more. Um, on the bottom you've got the abandonment card. So maybe you have someone, you or someone has abandonment problems and trust issues as well. Um, you need to forgive and let go on both cards. Maybe somebody needs to do some inner work though. But you don't want to separate either. That's on there too. Alright, so you're trying to avoid some sort of tower moment. You need to heal your heart chakra. You definitely have some sort of clarity or a wake-up call or you've decided that, you know, this is like a final decision, absolution. Maybe you forgive this person or you need to forgive this person. It's not a reconciliation of any kind. It's more a, you know, like could be a minute, it's over. So that maybe that's why it's over. And then you got the back together card. So maybe you do make a final decision. Um... Tell me more. Yeah, you thought you were going to get over with this person, like I said. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're forgiving though. You are definitely forgiving this person. Um, maybe you want to be friends with this person more so than actually anything else. Um, maybe they come back as a, a friend, even though, you know, there's forgiveness and disappointment. Um, on the bottom, you've got the Knight of Wands in reverse as well. So... Whether there's like some frustration, some arguments, some jealousy, some suspicion, maybe that comes up and causes problems. Um, maybe then that's why you break up. Maybe there's an epiphany about something or I don't know. But are you not seeing this person's destructive habits? 
and you want to get back together with them or are they over these destructive habits tell me about the destructive habits somebody's forgiving for a start maybe they're forgiving for them for their what they did in the past to them maybe you hurt this person in the past maybe you had choices um, but yeah, they're forgiving and moving on but you've got the six of pentacles so yeah choices and also you know I mean this is all about karma what you give you get back um, if you need help ask you've also got the hangman as well this is like letting things go having a new perspective you know maybe you've got some patience maybe you've got some enlightenment so maybe you think okay well this person's changed this person's you know learned from their you know you've forgiven you've you know this person could have learned from their mistakes um Tell me more. Tell me more about those destructive habits. Someone could be greedy. There could be obstacles. I can ask why that's there. See now, the Four of Pentacles, right, came out on the, on a side like that, rather than upright or reverse. It came out on. So, I want to leave it that way because the Four of Pentacles. Yes, it means that um, it could be obstacles or someone being controlled, like spending a lot of money, greedy, that kind of thing. But it can also mean that you want long-term security or well, somebody wants long-term security. So they could be stubborn, they could be um, resisting the change. Maybe this is you, maybe you're being like, just not wanting to let this person go because of that. What is the four of pentacles? Yeah, I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, though, this is like manifesting kind of what you want. It can also be about somebody, like maybe you just go a bit slower with this person. Like somebody wants to be a bit slower rather than rushing in and, and like let's move in tomorrow. Maybe you just want to take things a little bit slow with this person. Um, maybe you also go and focus on you're getting a job, maybe doing some more study. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're just going to move more slow with this person. This person may have anxiety or there's some sort of anxiety going on with the page of cups as well you know this could be somebody younger than you um it could be about you needing to trust your intuition um you know maybe this person's needy they're em emotionally immature um yeah maybe they maybe you see this person as your uh Kindred spirit with the two of cups. Sorry, my wrist is really sore. Okay, so as I said, somebody's grown, they've healed, they've evolved. There's now a new life phase or stage in a relationship. Tell me about that. Somebody needs to definitely do that work on themselves for 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 sure. Um, Somebody is definitely resisting a change, but you're needing to do that work on you. Get rid of whatever doesn't serve you. Um, three is three of wands. So this is about like waiting for your ships to come in and, you know, you hope for a return of the in investment. So like you put in all this time and effort and you kind of hope that someone else is going to do the same. But at the moment, you're just actively waiting for this person to... Like, put in as much. I think I need to rest my wrist for a little while after this reading. I've only got two more to go, but well, one more to go, but my wrist is killing me. All right, so. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, this is all about someone being irresponsible. They're at a standstill. They're bored. They're stuck. Um, maybe someone has a very short attention span, like they're into you, but then they get a bit bored and they like to go somewhere else that's what I'm feeling I'm feeling like this is somebody who has a short attention span with people maybe just in general but I feel like they might be interested in you 
and then all of a sudden they're gone and they're looking at you know bop down the road like whoever pays them attention kind of um short attention span on people and they're kind of irresponsible and careless too like they they care about themselves and I'm not saying this is a selfish person but I'm saying they get bored easy so trust your intuition with this person is what I'm saying um, with the moon card I mean there could be some secrets there could be some deception there could be things going on behind the scenes you know just trust your intuition and if they do break your heart, I mean, you're trying to resist the inevitable end. But as I said, you've got the three of swords. So you are forgiving this person. Um, but then I feel like there's no talking. So why all of a sudden are you not talking? Why are you not talking to this person? What did this person do? Do. Can I have one more card, please? Uh, okay. I feel like there's a lack of a firm foundation for a start. Um, as I said, and you it's kind of caused you anxiety, but it's like, don't worry, you will be victorious, but maybe not with this situation, but you will have victory and success. Um, I also feel like it's about working on your self-confidence, um, making progress. Now, on the bottom of the deck, you've also got like someone left you out in the cold and you're recovering from that. Now you're focusing on you. This probably left you feeling very exhausted. I feel like there was some sort of breakup. Maybe there was some fast paced change. Maybe, you know, you realize this person had different values than you. Um, and but you still don't want to let this go like maybe they walked away or somebody didn't want to let it go but maybe they gave you the cold shoulder maybe they are they really interested maybe it's not they're not really interested as I said they've got a short attention span so tell me more Oh, five of swords in reverse. So I feel like you're not going to talk, right? And then there was like this communication that I said a minute ago or a fast-paced change. It's like they're going to come back and be like, I want to reconcile. But you need to be a leader in your own life because this person is very controlling. I just feel like this has left you feeling exhausted, like I said. This could be a spiritual lesson for you that someone's going to try and communicate. As I said, they need to prioritize this relationship. They've probably got other options. Um, maybe, or maybe you're not seeing that. But this person does want to reconcile. Learn from this, though. Mm. There will be some new love come in. 
is it worth waiting for that maybe this is the new love i don't know so optimistic about your love life as well you're going to express your romantic feelings it could be a lot about sex too i'm going to use the queen of the moon oracle let's see if we can get anything else Maybe that's why you've got abandonment problems. Maybe that's why you don't. You've got trust issues with this person from the beginning of the reading. It's like whatever you want is not going to come to fruition with this person. You've also got purity. Let's have a look what 10 means. Discernment is. Oh, 30. What's the 10? Purity. Now, this is upright. It's all about understand your motives for doing what you're doing. Be as clear as possible in your communication. Now, what are their motives? Because I feel like it's either yours or theirs, but what are your motives? Because I don't feel like someone's either being very clear with their communication, which is maybe why the talking's in reverse. Maybe it's not that you stop talking. Maybe it's more that you... Somebody isn't very clear with their communication. And that would make sense with this card. So maybe it's more that you still are talking, but you're not very clear with what you want. Because the card under that was the outdated thinking in reverse, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like maybe you just not very clear with your communication about what it is you want but what are your motives and what are their motives and in the picture she's got a thing covering i don't know if you can see something covering her eyes is that because you're not seeing their motives is that because you're not seeing what they're doing like are you wearing rose colored glasses are you Wanting to believe the best in somebody that they've changed. You want to believe their, you know, their crap when they tell you I'm a changed person. I don't know. Maybe take that off. Maybe see the situation for what it is. Oh. Yeah, as I said, you're feeling exhausted, burnt out. And now there's going to be some hostilities. There's going to be conflict. And I mean, I can tell you that because you've got storm warning. You're trying to avoid this, this, this situation. Um, but I feel like you are going to, like, then they will be behind you. As much as there's going to be this hostilities, it's like that's in the past. So maybe somebody was very, maybe someone doesn't like it. Let's have a look, 26. Maybe it's about defences up. Okay. It can be an aggressive energy, but it can also be backstabbing. It can be slander, like gossip. But also I feel like it's more that just you maybe have Oh, you're allowing dishonoring treatment from others. So it means they'll send you more, the universe. Um, it also means you need to stand up for yourself. Um, somebody's very hostile and being deceitful, but they're more overt, overt. As I said, you're not seeing it, like I just finished saying. Um, and it also would mean that this person, as I said, they get bored very easy. And now you have renewal and hope again. It's like you're forgiving after this person hurts you. You're now free to move on. You may even leave after this situation. You may, um, yeah, you may leave and move on after this situation or it could mean that you forgive this person.
selenite keeps coming up and beryl came up last time too and i think snowflake obsidian came up last time too hmm who was that with i think with taurus maybe um snowflake obsidian this is about protection talents ideas and empowerment um and it's in reverse so as i said maybe you need to take back your own power in a situation don't let someone walk all over you um, you've also got citrine which is about wealth creativity abundance and healing let go of any fear and guilt that you're holding on to um, and abundance is coming into your life which is good beryl now this is all about resolution stress reduction and potential new possibilities and it's in reverse so it means your stress levels are going to increase, your anxiety is going to increase, everything's going to increase because obviously there's no stress reduction and there's no resolution in this situation either. Selenite, telepathy, soul connection, peace and tranquility and it's in reverse, as I said. This isn't going to bring peace to your life, that's as much as I know. All right, well, that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you with the next reading. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.